Hi guys, Phil Rafferty, just going to be creating another um, tutorial and we're going to be making this yeah so if you fancy it, carry on and I'll just go through all the steps um, again, really simple tutorial um, really simple to learn this um, just with some sort of fairly basic knowledge of Maya um, just following along so let's get going um, I'm just going to delete these values and start again so um, <coughs> we know we're uh, on the same page okay so we've got a model here um, nothing fancy straightforward um, and quite simply I'm first of all going to open up the um, polygon menu I'm going to right click and select vertices select all the vertices and I'm going to go into edit mesh detach component and you can see straight away that we can now see the planar surfaces of each one of these uh, polygons and if you were to select a face you can pull it apart like so okay so basically we've just detached all of the polygons from one another so now we've got that done we can open up the in dynamics menu and we're going to create an end cloth object out of this so we're not going to be using any uh, nucleus gravity so let's just select that control A and we're going to turn the gravity off so we should see now that nothing is going to be happening cool so let me just take the animation off my camera okay so let's select our object and the way we're going to do this is just to use some uh, fields dynamic fields and we're going to be using a vortex so we're going to create a volume shape so control A to get the uh, attributes off of the uh, vortex and we're going to use a torus and we're going to scale that up like so and we're just going to take the section radius down a little bit and we're going to switch on trap inside because we want the uh, piece of geometry to s move around inside the volume and I'm going to take the magnitude up to around 30 so let's just test that by in play and we can see that that's uh, affecting the entire object there so we're going to turn the trap radius down somewhat again it's affecting slightly less of it let's just pull the volume over here and hit play and we can now see that it's just starting to affect one side of the face which is what we want so the best thing to do at the moment I think if we zero in the magnitude and set a key and move forward um, 50 frames and take that up to 35, nice round number oops and set a key there so now when we start we shouldn't have something so violent let's just move it away a bit more cool and <coughs> we're going to keyframe this translation the x-axis so shift w and by about just go 200 we'll get this to about here shift w again let's just rewind and play and see what we got oh, I'm just going to take the uh, keyframes and uh, make them linear for the uh, animation on the vortex field and we'll just do a little play blast
you see it's starting to pull the ear away there that's quite a nice effect slightly different to what I had before so all those pieces of geometry are going to go a bit mental for the first part and then it'll start to conform to that vortex volume and start to spin around it and obviously the way that this uh, effect works is that we're not gonna we're just gonna play the video backwards when it's finished as I said really straightforward there's no rocket science here and what you can do uh, is if you had maybe a picture or some footage of yourself with a clean back plate you could use this uh, this geometry you could use the mat from the geometry over the top of the footage of the person or as I say your face and that would then disintegrate uh, your face or the footage as long as you've got a clean plate behind it it will look more real because you can see uh, the background should show through So there we go, everything's starting to um, come together here. I'm just going to stop it there so we don't play blast for too long because I think you get the idea. And then if we just in F check, we'll just play it backwards. You can see the effect we get. It's quite fun. Just play with some of the settings, add some more fields. Just uh, have some fun with it, guys. Cheers.